House Democrats are expecting to hold a vote to determine whether or not uh, the Attorney General, William Barr, is in contempt, along with the former right. uh, White House counsel, Don McGahn, as well as others. Both men have ignored congressional subpoenas uh, related to the Mueller report. So what can we expect? How will things unfold? Well, uh, you know, it wasn't clear before lawmakers left for recess a week and a half ago whether and when these contempt votes were actually going to take place. They voted in the House Judiciary Committee, uh, but they never scheduled a date for a vote on the House floor, which would obviously take things to the next level. Well, now that vote has been scheduled, it's going to take place next week. And ostensibly, because Democrats control the House, even if every single Republican votes no, Democrats will still win the day and they will be able to hold Barr and McGahn in contempt of court, uh, in contempt of Congress, rather. And then what happens next is uh, that Democrats say they are most likely going to pursue civil action to try to uh, compel Barr to hand over the full, unredacted version of the Mueller report. Um, you know, Republicans argue this is all a stunt, that uh, Barr has handed over almost all of the Mueller report, aside from some from sen some sensitive bits. Uh, but Democrats want the whole thing, and they're willing to, uh, to go to the House floor to make that point. And Nancy, what's the latest on the efforts uh, by Democrats to get Robert Mueller to appear? No update whatsoever, Vlad. They did announce uh, that they are going to be conducting a series of hearings looking into potential obstruction of justice by the President of the United States. They're even going to be uh, hauling in some, some Watergate players, some um, big stars of the Watergate hearings all those decades ago to try to make the point that this uh, apparently is akin to Watergate, bringing in John Dean, the President's, uh, President Nixon's former White House counsel. But, um, you know, as of right now, the star witness, the person they'd really like to hear from is Bob Mueller himself. And uh, we haven't heard any updates on that front. And we just, uh, you know, threw up some poll numbers that are really interesting. Fif even 56 percent of Republicans want Mueller to testify. Yeah, indeed. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, Nancy. Uh, thank you very much, as always. We appreciate it. We should just point out the noise that our audience is hearing. Yep. Is meeting the end uh, meeting of letting out. The CBS This Morning uh, meeting. And we have a crop of interns that have just joined the network. So, Nancy, it got really loud in here. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs>